Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a nice turn paper effect like this, of course with easy steps that you can be able to follow through. If you've not subscribed to my channel, now is the best time to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss the videos I will post in time for now. Without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to click on, I'm going to go to my resource file. The link to download this is in the description of this video. So this is the image I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to expand this a bit so I can have the portraits nice and centered in the middle like this. Right. So the next thing I want to do is I have it centered like this. I'll go over to the resource file and I'm going to bring in this file inside here like this. So this is Um, the paper so I'm just going to rotate this like this and um, of course make it bigger at both ends right okay so I'm choosing to use this direction so I can just click on this and click on this right so I have this in place what I want to do is click on this image and bring this downwards and um, somewhere around here is good and I'm good to go with this. So I'm going to click on, don't click on this and go over to my pen tool. Now with my pen tool is a few things I want to do. The first thing I like to do is click on the outline and click on none. I don't want any outline. Then I'm going to change the color. So go over to the color, I'm going to make it red. Alright, so when I've done this, I'm just going to start from the top here like this and I'm just going to be clicking. Alright, hold down your space bar to move this upward and you can zoom in and zoom out with your scroll wheel. And when you make a mistake, you can control Z and make sure you are not clicking outside, make sure you are at the middle of this line. So I'm just going to go through all of it like this. Again, space bar to move like this. So you can see that I have it all finished up like this. Make sure you complete the line. I'm going to duplicate the image, this image here like this and of course you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it, make sure you are dragging it inside of this shape you just created like this. You can see it's inside of the shape. So this is the easiest way to create a clipping mask inside of Affinity, right? So I'm going to click on filters and I'm going to adjustment the filters and I'm going to reduce the saturation like this. I'm working on HSL. I'm going to close this up like this. But before I do, I'm just going to reduce this. This is... Yeah. So I'm just going to leave it somewhere here. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to apply some curves to this. So I'm going to look for the curves under adjustment again. And this is it here. So I'm just going to make changes to this part here. And of course, it's a S shape because I need contrast in this image. Right. I can actually do that like all by myself, but then. So this is what I have, right? So this is the effect. So you have the torn paper. One side is a different image and you can throw in some special effects like this and uh, make sure it's not inside of the clipping mask. So I'm just gonna drag this outside. So like I said, to get all of this, the link is in the description of this video. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going over to my text tool and I'm going to type a few things. So it's just going to be basically term paper effect. make it bigger make some changes to this now you can actually be creative with this thumb paper you can use different directions and of course to get what you want right the bottom line is that you are creative with this mm -hmm. So I'm just going to extend this and yep, this is how I was able to create this turn paper effect that I almost turned into a poster. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and also to get your templates all these are in the link in the description of this video click the link to get your flyer template i'll see you in the next video ciao With over 1,000 premium fonts, over 100 high-quality PSD flyer templates, over 700 icons, over 3,000 premium stock photos, 3,000 plus high-resolution backgrounds, 1,000 plus 3D and PNG assets, editable PSD templates, and lots more. If you're a creative designer, UI, UX, or web designer, the Smart Designer's graphics assets will make your life much more easier.